Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? So I wanna show you guys what repeaters are. I use them all the time and you should definitely be using them uh, with Nomad Sculpt. So uh, basically a repeater just repeats whatever your mesh is. So here's the sphere, uh, my mesh. Here's the sphere, I'm just gonna validate it. And you go to add and then you have these repeaters here. So let's start with array. Array is like if you wanted to make like a, maybe a brick pattern or some sort of a repeating pattern. Actually, let's add a box and we'll just use the box for this one. I'll go ahead and validate it. And you can see that there's two of these boxes here. Let's say you wanted to make some sort of like, I don't know, sort of like a something like that, but you, you wanted to make a, a floor. Uh, when you want to move these around, just make sure you go to the box and that way you can sort of like move these around as you like. Let's rename it brick. So we have the brick. Now we have two of them. Why, is there, why are there two? So if we tap on array, we have the settings right here. You can see there's two of them. So the red, the count is two. If you increase this, then it's going to increase. And the reason why uh, they're all going in between these two is because of this fit inside. If I turn that off, then they will extend. So the number next to it, this 0.5, the offset is just the space in between. Then I would go fit inside. If I wanted to fit in this, then I can just do it that way. And then I can raise the count until it's all filled up. There we go, something like that. Oh, I thought you could tap, oh, there we go. If you tap with your finger, then you can add like an exact ratio. But maybe we'll just do something like that. That looks good. So let's say we want to extend it. So then you just have to figure out which way it extends. This way obviously is going up, which is not what we want, unless you want shelves. So we'll do the blue, and now you see it's extended. So it's the same thing. Uh, maybe you want to take it off fit inside and then just make the floor as wide as you want, kind of like that. And then you have like a floor, something like that. So if I wanted to make a brick floor, because I would normally use a ray for something like a brick pattern, I would want to make these bricks really small. So the first thing that I would do is probably turn off smooth shading. So yeah, I would go here to materials and turn smooth shading off. And I'm going to use round edge. If you don't have round edge, make sure you check out my Nomad Sculpt cheat sheet here on YouTube. So I'll use the round edge a couple times and then just decimate it. So go to miscellaneous and then decimate, make these really small. So that's good. So now they're like 53 each. But 53 is nice and small because you're going to be multiplying these a lot. Just go in here to my array options and uh, take it off fit inside. And then I would make about, let's say we do six. Uh, let's take the blue one and we just put it down like that. Let's make five. So the first thing I want to do is change the offset to something like that. Let's see, let's do fit inside. So now here and here, if we add more bricks, they'll just fit inside. But we want to do that with up and down. So let's use the blue, which is up and down. Okay, so that's good. We'll do something like that. So now this is our this is our main brick. So let's just clone this and then use the gizmo and we can move this over. And notice I'm leave, leaving a little space. I'm going to move it up as well. So something like that. And the other thing I would do is add another uh, box. Let's take it out of the array. Let's turn uh, smooth shading off. We can go ahead and validate it. And let's use our gizmo and just make it much bigger. So we'll make it much bigger so it kind of covers our bricks. And now I'm just going to squash it. So now once we have this, this one we can go ahead, I'm going to do round edge on it. And then I'm going to decimate it. And we'll decimate it all the way down. We'll leave it at 100 for now. And then I would just go to, I would just change it to lit PBR. This can be like an off white. I feel like brick stuff is like kind of off white. A little more yellowish. So maybe like that. And then bricks are sort of this reddish color, something like that. And I will color this the same color. And obviously you, you could just adjust the spacing so you have a little more spacing. 
So let's take these and just validate them. So let's take these and join them. And let's see if we can decimate them some more. There we go. A little more decimation. You can decimate this maybe once more. Still looks pretty good. So now it's only a thousand. Let's see if we join these together. Let's see if, how it looks if we trim them. That must mean, oh yeah, symmetry. Symmetries can be a killer. So there you go. It looks kind of crazy, but that's okay. Maybe we need to remesh this. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks crazy. But it looks good from the top, which is the main thing. It looks good from the top. Uh, let's just do a quick post-process and see how it looks. With full resolution. Why is that darker down there? That's so strange. We'll turn off the environment, add a light. Oh, the, I think I got the depth is different. The depth is a little different, so that's why it's a little funny. But, I mean, it looks like, it looks like bricks. I would say mission accomplished. Oh, I know I'm going to get so many messages on better ways to do it. <laughs> but, um, hey, you know, just like you guys, um, I'm learning, I'm living, and I'm learning. Oh, this is the top. Uh, I want to do, like, graffiti. I feel like it should be this way, though, right? I feel like it looks better. It looks better that way. I'm going to do snap 90 and snap it this way. That way we can turn it this way. We want this to be the front, like this. Boom. Now we can turn that environment back off and set the add the light. We'll raise this up a bit. We'll make it soft shadows. We can add another light. And I'm just going to add another light over here. So we'll just add another light over here. I'll turn the intensity down. This is our wall. Let's put some graffiti on it. First, I want to add a layer. And we'll just name it all graffiti. I always forget how to spell graffiti. I think it's... Oh, good. It did it for me. Two Fs. God, I, don't... I always forget. So let's do paint. I feel like yellow. Seems like the right color. Yeah. <clears throat> this is where Procreate would come in handy, being able to do it in Procreate. Uh, let's see if I can do my name. Let's make this a little smaller. I need to do it a little bit smaller. I gotta position my hand the right way too. So D, A, B, and then maybe I want to like do a little something like that. Why is it so blocky? I don't know why it's got so blocky. Well, that's kind of cool. If I add a layer and bring it underneath, I might be able to do like a darker color. So I'm gonna do a shadow on the same side. So a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of graffiti, uh, just having some fun. I needed something to make like the, the thumbnail, so maybe this will be it, we'll see. Is that already? And it's really cool, you can just hit clone. If you hit clone, you can save your presets for your post-process. Post so, you can check that out as well. I don't know what else I'll do, maybe I'll just leave it here. Ooh, you know what, let me turn the environment back on. Turn it down some. Cool. Nice.